Got a little whiff, but she hadn't pinpointed it yet. If I'm echolocating properly, I think it's up here. I was completely wrong. It's back here, guys. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a bat. No, 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 Batman. Hey everybody, Ethan here, and we're back with another video with Miss Covey. We've done her woe training in the yard. Now we're gonna take that back to the field and apply it. We're going to stop her a couple times, kind of as a preparatory, and this is something I recommend with anybody that's taking a dog to the field. It's kind of a, a thing that we do by habit, sending dogs off, stop them, make sure they're paying attention and focused on us, but then we're going to go from there to working her on birds. These birds are still in launchers, but they are kill pigeons. She does it right, we're gonna shoot them for her and then work through that retreat. She does them wrong, we're gonna let them fly and handle her and show you guys what that looks like. Let's go. All right, babe, come on. So once we get out here, we got a bunch of rain here the other day and it is a muddy mess where there isn't grass. Come on. Okay, so we've let her out a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and handle her a couple times, just like I mentioned. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right, Cuff, come on, babe. Whoop. Whoa. Good. As I'm using, whoa. We're applying stimulation with the nick button. Whoa. Okay. Good dog, send her on. That okay is exciting, it's come on, let's go, whoo! Usually involves movement again. Probably saw that in my hand. Okay, send her on. That movement helps her to say, let's move. And it should be exciting, it's fun. We're going to, uh, we're going to hunt some birds. Now Jess went ahead and set these out for me. Um, DT's bird launchers here, we're using the 500 series and they have a beeper on them. So I can pinpoint that birds down this direction and she's got a good enough understanding of pointing birds and everything else that as long as we're down there, I'm pretty sure she's gonna find it for me. Good dog. Now, heard it was down this way. We've got wind kind of coming out of this direction. We always talk about checking your wind. So we're gonna swing her around and should find that bird right down in this area. I don't think there, maybe. Right down here. You don't wanna overuse that beeper, but it is there to, to be able to find these launchers. It's kind of when you get out here, you start looking around and it's like, huh, I put it by this clump of grass. Well, there's clumps of grass everywhere and they kind of all start to look the same. All right, I think we've got a, a dog on point. We're going to handle this here. We can come in. Wind's pushing this way. I'm guessing our bird's gonna push pretty hard that way for us. Whoa. Load up my shotgun. Guys, you know, this is our first time back in the field after whoa training. Whoa. We should be able to stop here. That's what I wanted to see. I don't know if you could 100% see it. Whoa. This is the, the little bit of creepy creepy she was doing. Whoa. And we're able to reinforce with the collar, nick button here. Whoa. Let's get this bird out of here. She's doing a great job. There it is. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know how that did that, but it did a big old cartwheel spinning thing. That was fun. All right. There, she's got it. Good dog. <laughs> Good dog. That's what I'm talking about, Cub. Right here, come on, babe. Good. Good, that's making really big improvements with her retrieving. She's picking them up, she's bringing them back. Now this has just been a little bit of exposure. She came in with a bit of an issue with retrieving birds and uh, we haven't by any means fixed that. We've just continued to 
to provide her some opportunities and we're seeing good improvement, but that'll be the next thing on her list that we're working through. Formal retrieving work, we're gonna take her through that process just like we did Legend in the video series. Let's go ahead and head down this direction. We'll go find the next one. That first one looked really good. Covey's looking comfortable, she's having fun. If we get an opportunity up here, we'll throw another rep in. Like I mentioned in the yard, we'd finished our yard work, but we still have some handling to do out here in the field to make sure that she feels 100% confident. Whoop, whoa, ah, whoa, good, whoa. Okay, just reps. The more we can add into the, the reps as we're going, the better off things are. We don't have to hammer all of this in the yard. Once we have a good understanding, we feel that we're pretty comfortable, confident that she's got a handle, then we can take that back to the field and apply it. Apply it as often as we can without causing issues. Now, if you constantly are stopping, 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 stopping your dog when you get out to the field, it's gonna cause a new problem. They're gonna start to get sticky, clingy, and not, uh, it's gonna affect their hunt, or it can. So, good girl. She's doing a nice job. Uh, the more handle that we put on her, the more she's uh, really doing a good job focusing on us, which was a good expectation. It's uh, something, I mean, that I expected out of her. All right, bird number two is straight ahead. Again, we've got that wind coming right at our back, so we're gonna have to swing left or right a little bit. I'll probably pull up here to the left just for video purposes, that so we can see more Miss Covey hunting. If we get down here in this thick stuff, it'll be harder to see what's going on. What a pretty little dog. That tail's still wagging. She thinks she smells something, but she's not sure. This is important to have your bird launchers in places that you know where they're, they're at with a uh, little less experienced dogs. It helps to be able to find the birds and to ignore those kind of false pointing type situations. She should pick it up right there, dang. Go ahead and move all the way up in here on this one. You get a little better look. Okay, we're watching for those same naughty habits that we had before, which was the creeping. And we're gonna test her a little bit here. Uh, for Whoa, that's what I was kind of expecting. You got a little bit of that grass movement that sounds like flushing. Yep, she's a little closer to this one. Whoa, reminding her, helping build some steadiness. Our bird's right here, but we're moving around, looking for that bird. Where could it be, Cub? Whoa. Anytime we see those movements, we're handling. That's good. We don't need to push too much. This all looks good. Let's get this bird out of here. What a good dog. <laughs> What a good dog. There it is. Nice job. Again, same kind of return, back within a few feet. Some people say, may, uh, some people may say, ha ha, got it out there. They're completely fine with this, and that's okay. It all comes down to your personal preference. I know that uh, our goals with her is to get a, a solid retrieve to hand, so we will be working on that, or Ron's goals specifically, but uh, if you're okay with her dropping at your feet, y'all are done there. Let's go find one more. We've got it back up over here. All right, we got a stiff wind again right in our face as we turn and we're working back this way. So I've got a feeling this little long nose setter is going to hit that bird at a pretty good distance. Oh, it's getting muddy here, babe. We're going to get stuck. Mm, let's go back a little bit. Here, sink in up to your elbows. There you go. All right, so she's working a line. I feel like she's gotten a little bit of a nose full because she's pretty, she started concentrating her search pattern. 
back and forth and back and forth a little bit in that zone, meaning she got a little whiff, but she hadn't pinpointed it yet. Let's see. If I'm echolocating properly, I think it's up here. Got that beeper here. I was completely wrong, it's back here, guys. <laughs> Good thing I'm not a bat. No, 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 Batman. There we go, Cub found it. He said, come on, silly old man. Same thing here again, guys, we're watching for, we're watching for that creeping. So we work in here. Uh, for Covey, I'm running the collar on about a seven, which is a little higher than in the yard, but there's more excitement here. You know, this is a, a bigger distraction. She's about the uh, same thing, maybe. Whoa. As soon as she starts that creeping, we can stop her now. That's what the, the power of this woe training. We can build a little bit more time, help her stand there for longer periods of time. We don't want to do this all at once. But ultimately, it'd be nice if uh, put her on point, run back up to the house, make a sandwich, you know, come back down here, she's still standing. That would be the end goal, folks, something to aspire to. Kicking around, I like that. Staunchness, you see that little mouth open and closing and stuff, that's her tasting. <sighs> She's anticipating, ready. Ooh, is it coming out here? Or is it coming? Whoa. All right, good dog. One more dead bird. Love the enthusiasm. A lot of people made some comments about the fact that she didn't look happy in her woe training. All right, folks, not all training is 100% fun, happy, exciting all the time. Ah, see, I hit the vibrate button there, and that was enough to pull her focus. Maybe just double tap that, see if it'll level out there. There we go. Gimbal, trying to learn it. <laughs> um, I hit the vibrate when she was coming back, and that was the first time that I'd done it. She'd been really cooperative coming right back. There she was lollygagging just a little bit, and I reminded her with vibrate. That actually caused her to drop the bird. Not the end of the world. We know that she needs to work on retrieving, but I was commenting on the fact that in, Cove here, good dog, here, Covey. We'll go back that, get that in just a second here. I was commenting on in the, in the yard, she looked a little sad, a little dumpy in her woe training stuff. It's part of it, folks. Some dogs just have different personalities. Not all of them are gonna look extremely happy in all aspects of training. Um, it's structured, it's less fun, but it's not, it's not a terrible thing. It's just one of those things that she needed to learn so that we could get her back to this point and she can be more handleable and better for the field and for the hunt for Ron. So, um, as you can see, we didn't break her spirit or wreck this dog. She's excited, she's hunting, she's bold, confident, and that's all doing the process. If you didn't get to see her well training video, definitely go back and watch that. Um, I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Covey. Uh, we're done with this video, folks, and uh, we'll see you in our next one. Mm -hmm.